two, three, showtime. What up, what up, what up, world? Thank you for uh, that moment of silence and for that, that respect due to my big brother, who am I, which is right back in back in front of me on my, on my shoulder, always looking on my shoulder. You know what I'm saying? Rest in paradise, my guy. You know what I mean? It's 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 a bittersweet, uh, bittersweet thing. You know what the fucked up part about this is? I'm going to have to do it again in two days because I lost, I lost a lot. You know what I mean? I lost two brothers within two weeks of each other. And you know what I mean? The, the, the shit, the shit goes goes around, you know what I mean? It's it's never acceptable. You can never really truly accept that type of shit. So uh, thank you, Biz, and thank you for everybody in the comments and everybody abroad that's giving their kind words and their support. Appreciate you guys. Um, But this is Gas Mask Try TV Podcast, where we filter out that bull. Let me ask you a question. Um, it's, It seems like, and I don't know if this is propaganda, not even propaganda, I don't know if this is something to just get their names out of there. I know... I know one artist doesn't need it for sure, but maybe it's for the other artists to get them big up. But have you heard or have you noticed that game and M is beefing now? They got a little beef and it's not, and it's not your, your normal beef because I, I, I truly believe that game knows better. Game knows better. He said it before. You don't want to ever go to war with, with Eminem. Don't ever want to go to battle with it. That dude, Lyrics is fucking crazy. Fucking crazy. Eminem, <laughs> he is a beast. He is, he is just not nice when it comes to the words, his pen play, his word play, everything. His lyrics, everything is just is just straight crazy. Game is, is, is a hood rapper. And and one of the things that pointed out, like the game always gets on Eminem um, about you don't hear Eminem uh, songs in the club. You just don't hear him in the club. You know why you don't hear Eminem songs in the club? Because they're not club songs. They're just, that's just the, the uh, fact. <laughs> uh, he said, shit, he has this. <laughs> shit, he has 10 minute this song. Uh, it kind of was, you know? It, it, and I, I won't say that it was shitty. It just wasn't up to par to be, you know what I mean, coming at him. Like, you should have came way harder. I got the wordplay, got the mimic. But that was that was that was that was it was really really crazy. I you know for the life of me I can't even understand why they're even beefing. Um, what what I read was that uh it was it's, it's just some shit that was started by by just other people. Thank you, my bro, my condolences. Thank you, I appreciate that. And should he add ten minute this song? Yes, it was. I I did I did hear it. It was it was a song that was not just up to par. Yeah, yeah, it was a good diss. I, I heard it, but not not on Eminem. Not if you dissing Eminem. Nah, nigga, you should have came way fucking hard. Uh, he says Eminem is too real for some people. Um, no, nah, I can't even say that, bro. Yeah, you can't even say that because Eminem. I can agree is, with I that. Can, I can agree with that, Goofy. What do you mean that Eminem is too real for some people? You, uh, nah, uh, <laughs> some some of the shit that is too real for some people. Hey, hey, look, this is the notice segment. And all That's I'm fine. telling you, I feel him. I feel I what Goopy just said right now. Eminem is too real for certain uh, for some people. Honestly, you're right. That this was, you know, it could have been a lot harder. Because I, yeah. I think the motherfucker went at G unit a lot harder than that. But hey, maybe that was just a wake up call to wake him up. I, I don't know. You know what I mean? But no, it wasn't. M, M go let off on that ass. And, 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 I don't, and I don't mind this. I don't mind the back and forth. But I, I, the, the, this is I. I believe that Eminem. To, let's be let's be honest. Eminem is is a, just a straight cold lyricist, and he's also been known. He's also been really known to be to just bring up shit right out of his ass. He's not a club banger song, but when game when game the, the game said that he was better than Eminem, I would remember a video when the people asked him. Uh, you better than game and niggas and he was like yo uh let's go ask game if he's better game is better than eminem a long time ago like it was like a few years ago and he was like you know you never want to go to war with eminem he's been in the 
He's been in there. Game, uh, Eminem doesn't need anybody. Yeah, he can use he can use uh, Dr. Dre beats, but he doesn't need Dr. Dre beats. Not anymore, he doesn't. Not anymore, he doesn't. That nigga can, he can get on any track and murder. Any track, any track. He can freestyle and murder. Any track, any track. Literally freestyle. I'm not talking about that shit that y'all see niggas doing now where it's like, oh, I'm spitting some shit I already know that's in my, that nigga can literally freestyle. I don't know if game could do that. I don't know if game could do that. That nigga from our city, Compton, you know what I mean? I, hey, and I hey, take wait, 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 wait. Game, game got bars too, my guy. Game got bars too. I'm, I, I'm, I'm not taking just, nothing I, from game. I, I I'm just, just saying I, game ain't no matchup to Eminem. That's what I'm saying. And that's it. No, I'm not yeah. taking nothing from game at all. That nigga's hard. And I, you know what? And I'll be honest with you. I will be honest about this nigga. Where the fuck you been at, game? Where the fuck you been at? <laughs> oh, you need you. What is it that you need? You need the white boy to just get a little bit of bars up? Okay, good business move. Go ahead. Good job. Good job. I can agree with that. Notice, notice that you needed a little bit of help. Cool. Great business move. Now, let's proceed, because I guarantee this beef ain't going long. It, nigga, it, it, them niggas know each other's phone numbers. I, I, I don't believe the beef. I just don't believe the beef. Bro, you're in Compton? I'm not in Compton now, but that's my city. Um, the game just uh, doing it to get people to talk about him again. Um, Yes. I would I I totally 100 agree with that. You know what I'm saying? I totally 100% agree with that. Goofy B says, "Bro, Gucci Mane's new track is too real for some people too." Um, I haven't heard Gucci Mane do uh, new track, so I can't even speak on that. But once I do, I will give you that notice this on this Friday. Um, the game the UK. Uh, I didn't hear a single line that made me stopping and rehear it. Yes, I didn't either. He was so. It was just so well thought out <laughs> and uh, kind of, I wouldn't say nursery rhymes, but simple, simple, s- systematic rhymes is what, what I, what I noticed when he was spit. It was nothing to go like, damn, that shit was cold. You know what I mean? Not taking anything from game, but I was, I was expecting, I was expecting a little bit more lyric, lyrical, but game has never been lyrical. He's never been lyrical. That's that, and that's what I think a lot of people are are failing to realize. I, hey, Desi said, they say he hey, didn't take hey, eight hey. Mil. before you read this next comment. Game, game is not lyrical. Now you talk before about you Kendrick's comment. Part, Check that would be never different. What's up? Game do got bars, so I don't want to. I don't want to take away from games. Game, he got lyrics. The nigga got some shit that have made me like he got bars, but he's not lyrical. Like there's a difference. There's a difference between having bars and being lyrical. There's a difference. You can be have bars Why all day. Why would they do to be the same thing? Like if you got bars, you lyrical. Like no, 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 no. So bars is this. Saying bars is saying something slick, saying something nice to make you tune to your ear. Lyrical makes you think, makes you it puts you in a whirlwind to think. Game has never been fucking lyrical. He's always been wordplay, wordplay bars. He's what you got wordplay okay, bars. I, you got lyrical bars. That those are the difference. Like you listen to Kendrick Lamar, compare the difference. Kendrick Lamar is lyrical. He would you you can listen to his one his one bar, it'll make you go back and re-listen to it because you didn't fully understand what he was talking about the first time. Game is just wordplay bars. You can listen to that and you can be like, oh, okay, the first time and understand what he's talking about. Wordplay versus lyrical. You get it. I got you know that. I got that. Yeah, and that's Goofy B San, P- San Pedro, bro. You right down the street, big brody. Damn, up. Goofy B, <laughs> you right down the street. I'm in Compton, not right down the street, but you know, I mean, you know. Right. <laughs> he would nice all the best, he, he would all the best, the best uh, fry uh, fish, and you know what I mean, all <laughs> that uh, San Pedro market <laughs> and all that shit. Uh, yeah, man, lucky Peck. Yeah, you got yeah. Peck Park. You got Peck Park pool over there, don't you? I used to work at Peck Park Pool as a lifeguard uh, assistant and a locker room attendant. <laughs> Straight up, <laughs> said Pedro. Pedro is so they, they, that's like a bougie ass fucking Redondo Beach Santa Monica place. I know, I know, <laughs> it is. It's like a bougie ghetto Redondo Beach. You know what I mean? <laughs> bougie ghetto. You said it right. Bougie ghetto. <laughs> San Pedro Fish Market is fire. You damn right. It is you fire. Right. It is bro. fire. Expenses as fuck, right. but fire. 
expensive Pedro. as fuck. Pedro. Yeah, that's the shit right there. Pedro. What? Everybody vote for Pedro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let me get out so you can finish the segment. Ah, right, no, nah, yeah, 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 you good, you good, you good. Now, with that being said, what I what I'm gonna say is, who do I see winning the battle? Ultimately, overall, who's gonna win the battle will be Eminem. Everybody knows it. It's not something to fret your ears about. You already know. What I'm interested is if if it's enough for the for the giant to come off his throne to even address what get the game give him. I think ultimately he's going to be like, he's going to address it. And it's just, it's just one song. Maybe he might just put one 16 bars out because there's no, you know, I mean? he, Eminem is disrespectful, period. He just, he, he comes with disrespectful lyrics, period. So I think when he, when he does drop it, if he does drop it, um, that, that is going to be something special. Moving on to the next topic. If you notice this, notice um, there has been um, some talks about judges getting paid to um, cash for kids. Is what they're saying. Some judges down in Pennsylvania um, have been um, pretty much getting paid to lock kids up, juveniles, getting locked, get, and they have been convicted. In order to pay over two hundred million dollars to the victims, which is over, which is over four hundred victims, four hundred people are said to get paid out of that two hundred million dollars, because there's people that have been have PTSD that 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 have been traumatized pretty much for just stupid ass traffic stops. And been thrown in jail because they've been suspected and convicted of drug felonies and stuff like that. That wasn't true. You don't need to show the. You don't need to show the lyrics. Uh, it's it's crazy how um how our judicial system in some places are set up. Me and Biz, we had a conversation about about eight podcasts ago where we talked about the penitentiary and the jail system. How it is a big business. It is and always has been business. The jails have been designed to put us, um, the minority, in into a system as a business. So slavery, it's another form of slavery. You know what I mean? Did you know that once you are in the uh, locks and chains, that that is considered the ch- slavery? That's the easy way to get you. You commit. A, you don't even have to commit a crime and go to jail, go to jail or go to prison. You know that? You do not have to commit a crime or go to jail. There was this guy who went to jail. He just had been in the bad, bad place at the wrong time, wrong place at the wrong time. He happened to look like the individual, and he spent over 17 years in prison. 17 years in prison because another motherfucker looked like him. Period. It's like somebody else goes out right now, robs a fucking store. They have a Golden Knights hat on because it's not the only hat they sell. They have a black T-shirt on. They, it's a guy that in the description they give you is a black guy with a Golden Knights hat and a black T-shirt with a goatee. And that's the description they gave me. And they lock me up. When everybody knows I've been sitting here on this fucking podcast. Everybody, and even though he sold his alibi, he showed him, they didn't care because jail system is a big business it sucks the way this sits set up but it's one of those things we need it but we are afraid with it and it needs it is broken it needs to be fixed it needs to be fixed it's just like everything that after a while yeah you can you can you can ride a car until it's until it's not um until it starts something starts smoking or something start ticking or something start clicking this the judicial system has been ticking and clicking for so long we need to fix everybody Something needs to happen. UK says, speaking of judges, I got a dumb jury duty next month. Oh, that's easy. You can get out that easy. Most most of the time, which is going to happen, uh, UK, you're going to get there. I don't know if you have to, you dealt with this before. You're going to get to the jury duty. Um, and then it's going to be like 50 people there. They only need like, I believe, like 10 or something like that, or 12, some odd number, something like that, 13. Um, and then... Most likely, you're probably going to be dismissed depending on the arraignment or what the case get missed or whatever the case may be. So there's a lot of it. You might not even show that jury duty. And if you get to the last point of you doing jury duty, do it. Nigga, you ain't doing shutting this shit else <laughs> with your bum ass leg and knee and back and shit like that. Call me old motherfucker. Just go to jury duty. 
You know what I'm saying? And with that being said, this has been noticed. This. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in to the Gas Mask Tribe TV podcast, where we filter out that bull. Church. One, two, three, showtime.